Hi everybody, it's Susie. Welcome back to my craft room. Okay, we are going to continue on with our 3 and 15 challenge. We are on week 6, episode 3. And today we're going to be working on these uh, pockets, journaling cards for these pockets. So, um, I have done a couple. I don't know if y'all remember, but Dee Dee's original version had the um, these made into tag shapes. And then I kind of went rogue and left one straight. So, um, I've gone ahead and made journaling cards for these two to show you kind of what it's going to look like. So, what we have here is we have a, a tag here. We have a tag that fits in this pocket back here. Well, it did fit. And then I made one with a tab to in and out the side. So, when it comes time to... Um, you know, put this in. I may have to trim this off once this is glued in, but that is how that is going to look once it is in the in the journal. So I'm gonna go ahead and paper clip these pieces together so I know that this goes with that. And then, and this is the one that I left straight, and then this is the one that I did in a tag shape. And so um, this has a journaling card, and you can see I did a little different. I rounded the corners on this, so there are no rules. You can do your um, you can make them into tags like I did here, or you can just use, you know, just plain old rounded edges. It, it looks fine no matter how you do it. And then back here, I put in this little piece to tuck into that because, you know, I'll glue it around there and leave this side open as a tuck. And I put a tab on that so it would be easy to see. Um, we could, you know, put a little circle, a half circle hole in that if we wanted to. Um, but I think the tab would be enough. So you do it however you want to do it. So there's no right way, no wrong way. Just, you know, do you. Okay, so now we are going to pull these pieces out, our three pieces that we're going to do. And what you need to do is you just need to kind of measure, like say for this, for example, this piece is um, about three and a half. Well, I know that's been glued down and I know this has been glued down. So I probably want to go about three inches for this little piece. So I'm just going to pull out all my papers and scraps and um, figure out what I want to put in that. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I've been doing, uh, you know, having some struggles, but I'm on the mend now, so hopefully um, I'll turn it in and we can get my medications all straightened out. I'm thinking I might want to go with that. No, I don't. I think I'll go with that. Or maybe even that. I think that. Okay, so I want to cut that about three inches. Okay. And then I don't want it to be, you know, any taller. I mean, you can make it as tall as you want to, actually. But I probably want to go to about, you know, here and then put a hole, you know, if I want to do a, a tag shape. Let's just make sure that's going to fit, and it is. So now I need to figure out how big I want it. And I probably want to go to about, oh, let's say five inches. Let's do five inches. And now I'm just going to clip this corner to make it a tag shape. And of course I'm going to take this little piece I cut off, flip it over and put it over here. And then cut that. And that way they're the same. And if I can find my little hole puncher, I'll put a hole in it. And you know, you just kind of want to go about center. Mine never is. I got crooked eyes, so I don't see right. Okay, and I just need to ink that one up. All right, so now I want to make a little piece for right here. 
So I think I'm going to use a piece of the same paper that I cut. I don't think I decided that was how big. Uh, so I want to go about three. Oh, wait, that's... That's four and a half. So I'm going to go about four on this one wide. And about how tall do I want it? Maybe to about right there. So four by about... Let's say three and a half. I can always cut it off. So let's, let's cut this down to four. Wait, did I have a piece left over? Let's do this one. Okay, save that big piece. So, you know, you're just going to have to measure whatever size pieces you did. If you did all of your pieces, you know, all three of your pockets like this the same, then your measurements will be about the same on each one. So, let's go to about 20. All right. Okay. Now... Just because I put a tag here doesn't mean this piece has to be a tag. And that's going to be a little bit wide. So I'm going to take about another quarter inch off of that. And sometimes you just have to keep working with it. Okay. So I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to round these corners. Uh, maybe. Sorry about my head, y'all. Now y'all saw my head stuck in there. And so I'm not going to make this one a tag. I'm just going to make this one just a little journaling card. Like that. And that's going to be really pretty. And then I just want a piece to tuck in here. So, um, let's see. Hit a glue. So about here and here. So this is about uh, six and a half. I think I'm going to go about five and a half on that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go about five and a half on that. And we'll see if that'll work. So I hope y'all are enjoying this challenge. I'm just now getting back uh, kind of situated again and you know tried to get my supplies a little bit organized which I uh, obviously didn't do real well but anyway all right so I don't want this to be any more than say four and a half inches I don't mind if it sticks out a little bit let's go four and a quarter oh that was did I measure right Take a half inch off. Okay, so um, anyway, I can't wait to to get these done and get it, get journals made for them and see how that goes. Okay, now this one you can make it you know any way you want to. You can round your corners if you want to. You can leave them you know kind of squarish. Um, however you want to do it, you know, do whatever's comfortable for you. So this will slide in in and out of there pretty good. Now the one thing that we'll have to be careful with is if we put something in here. Um, then this will have to be able to slide underneath it. So, again, once you get it glued in, you may have to trim this down a little bit. So, you know, don't count on that being necessarily your final piece. So, let me find... Okay, there's my pieces. I just need to ink those up. And I'll make a tab for that. And you can literally make a tab, you know, out of any of your little scrap pieces that you have hanging around. And you can decide how big you want your tag. Let me just see what kind of little tiny scrap I have that might kind of match... I mean, it doesn't have to match, matchy match. I might use that for a tab, actually. Okay. Now, 
way it sticks out a little bit, you know, kind of stands out. Oh, goodness. Okay. So I want to, I definitely want to cut this down. Maybe make it about an inch and a half, I think. Okay, I should have used the ruler. That is not even close to straight. Well, y'all know how I am. I cannot cut a straight line if my life depended on it. Okay, so then I'm just going to fold that over. Like that. I'll take my hole puncher and snip a little piece off of this corner. And a little piece off this corner. And that's somewhat close, so I mean, close enough for me. And I can just glue that right on to there, but I want to ink it first, I think. Yeah, I think I want to ink that first. Okay, so let me ink these pieces real quick, and that'll be one down. Okay, there's that one. Wait, that's not even the right piece, is it? Didn't I make, I thought I made a tie, I did get the wrong piece. How about that, y'all? What do y'all think about that? Oh, that's my back piece, so I was doing okay. Um, there's not a whole lot of new stuff to tell y'all. Y'all know I've been kind of down and out. Well, not kind of. I really have been bad at down and out. Um, I was literally stuck in the bed for a long time. And I haven't heard back from my doctor, so I'm not sure if she's going to go back to my old medicine or not. I'm just thankful that I had some on hand because that new medicine was simply not working at all. And I was just laying there in excruciating pain, barely able to move or do anything. So, you know, that's not living. That's just kind of existing. Um, my little grandson, uh, today is November 1st, and so my little grandson was dressed up like Scooby-Doo for Halloween. I don't do Halloween and didn't really do Halloween, you know, when my daughter was growing up. It's just, you know... That's just me. I just do me. So, you know, whatever's right for you, you do you. I don't stand in judgment of anybody for anything. And, you know, it's just whatever is, you know, whatever floats your boat. But anyway, um, he dressed up like Scooby-Doo and made a cute, cute, cute little Scooby-Doo. Um, and he's just 20 months old. So he just had the time of his life. He just thought that was fun. Of course, you know, with COVID going on, um, you know, they didn't have it where you went to people's doors where, where they took him. Um, they had these little chutes set up. And so the candy would would come down the little chutes to go in, in their little whatever they were carrying. And he was carrying the cutest little tiny pumpkin. And, you know, somebody made a comment to my daughter about him having a small little pumpkin. And she said, well, he's a small little boy. And, you know, he is. I mean, uh, but his, his little pumpkin was just so cute. I did get out yesterday, and, uh, oh my goodness, now my glue won't come out, and I went to, where did I go, I went to Dollar Tree, picked up a few things, and then I went to, um, Joann's, they, believe it or not, finally had, I'm just putting some glue on this little tab, you know, on both sides, because it's going to be glued down and glued, you know, to itself, and you're just going to kind of want to you know, check your directions, of course, and then just kind of put this on there. And you can make it stick out as much as you want or as little as you want. That's, you know, completely up to you. It can be in the center. It can be at the top. It can be in the bottom, wherever you want it. Um, and they finally had some fabric tape. They still didn't have any three-in-one glue. And I, I don't like the little bottles because I just go through it too fast, you know. And so I managed to get the eight-ounce bottles, and I picked up one for me and one for Joanne because since... Since the pandemic, we haven't been able to get three-in-one or, or Fabri-Tac until just recently I found a bottle and then I shared with her. And so I was able to find two bottles yesterday and, uh, you know, they only let you buy one with the coupon. So my daughter went in and, and got one for Joanne. And so we are both going to be really, really thrilled about having the Fabri-Tac. Um, okay, so that will be that one. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll clip that together. All right, so for the next one, I'm going to pull this one in, and let's see what we have here. I mm, don't like that too much. That's 
kind of pretty, isn't it? I wonder if I use this part. I think that part. All right, so this one is going to be four inches, so I want to go about three and a half, I think. That's what I wanted to do. That's about four. Not even quite. Well, yeah, it's four, so I'm gonna go about three and a half. Um, so I went to um, Joanne's, like I said, and, and was able to find that Faber Tac. Got two bottles of that, and I found a roll. And it's very hard for me to find here in my area um, the rolls of Tim Holtz uh, tissue uh, paper. And I can't remember which one they had there. You may have to manipulate your envelopes if you kind of glued them a little bit too much, kind of like we did the other day. They're not envelopes. Y'all know what these things are. Pockets. I might have to cut that down even more. Oh, well, let's go another say, quarter inch. And so... Oh, it was the birds. It was the one uh, with the birds. I think it's called aviary or something like that. Um, so I was real excited about that because I haven't seen that there before. And it was supposed to be on sale, but they didn't have it marked on sale. And then you have to fight with the lady at the front. And it, so I just didn't do it. I just went ahead and did me, you know, and said, well, whatever. All right, I'm going to round those bottom corners so this will slide in easier. Um... You know, and I had the 50, one of them was a 50% off coupon. The last time that my daughter and I went, um, we both bought some things, and I bought, uh, and when I finished my purchase, you know, they just gave me my receipt, and I was out of there. Well, when she made her purchase, they gave her a 50% off coupon. So I'm going to go to about five and a half, I think. We'll try that. Um, and so she was able to use the 50% the off coupon, and then they had, you know, their online coupons at 40% off, so that's what I had to use. Uh, but I was glad because now the fabric tack has gone up it's just terribly. It's like $14.99 now for an 8-ounce bottle, which is ridiculous. But, you know, we're kind of at their mercy, aren't we? Oh, yeah, that'll fit fine. Okay, so now I think I want to make this into a tag shape, too. Um, Uh-oh, did I cut the wrong one? Nope. And so that was all I bought there. And thank God that my daughter and son-in-law were with me because I would have not have been able to take my power chair in and out. But um, Dollar Tree is in the same, like, what do you, what do you call those? Like mini, mini malls or mini shopping centers or I don't remember what they're called. But anyway, it, it doesn't matter. They're in the same area. And so I just rode my power chair from Dollar Tree down to Joanne's. And so my son-in-law was able to get that out of the car for me, put it together. You know, I went in Dollar Tree, and then I rode down to uh, Joanne's, and, you know, my daughter met me in there. And so that worked out wonderfully, and um, we left there and went over to Hobby Lobby, which, you know, I've been boycotting Hobby Lobby for a long time because they refused to provide power chairs to the handicapped in their stores and the way that their wheelchairs are set up they you sit in the wheelchair and they have the basket on it well if you have to get up and reach for something then you have to lift up your basket and everything in your basket goes flying so that didn't work out real that doesn't work out real well and they just don't think one person needing it or 10 people needing it is you know worthy of, of them getting it so that's kind of frustrating for me all right again that's four inches so i'm gonna go about three and a half i guess We'll see how that works out for me. Oh, wait. We got this. That'll work on it. Let's just cut a little bit off of that. Let's see. Maybe an inch. Um, but anyway, I went into um, Hobby Lobby. And online, a lot of their Tim Holtz stuff was supposed to be like 40% off. And it was not. It wasn't marked in the store as 40% off. And of course, once we got to Hobby Lobby, you know, my son-in-law had to unload my chair, put it together, and all that. So I was very, very thankful that, that they were there with me because I would not have been able to go, especially as weak as I am after, you know, all that I've been going through. And um, 
I ended up finding another roll of the Tim Holtz tissue paper that was 40% off. And it was the, um, I think it's the collage one. I don't, I don't know if that's the real name of it. And then um, they had some Distress inks that I picked up um, that were 40% off. Because normally I don't buy inks. I don't know why I bought inks because I make my own inks. So I just guess I had brain damage for a minute and bought inks. Um, but, you know, it's okay. And then I picked up a few of the thin lit dyes. Uh, not, yeah, dyes. And I didn't get any embossing stuff. The ones that they had listed, they didn't have. Um, and then I bought, like, some little ephemera packs. Um, and all of it was 40% off. And then I picked up an extra stays on. But I got it in the, the brown this time. I don't always want to use black. Okay, so that's those two. And then I just need one to go behind there. So, um, I get up to the register, you know, with my, my phone out, with the Hobby Lobby app opened up to show them. Okay, this one I said is four, so I want to go about three and a half wide. Um, and so, of course, I get a register where it's the cashier's very first day. And before she starts ringing it up, I told her, I said, look, you know, these are not marked, you know, on the product or there were no signs back there for this being on sale. But, you know, on your app here, it shows that they are on sale. And so I'd like to get them at the sale price. Okay, I'm going to make this about, I'm measuring from, you know, just a little inside here where the glue probably is to about right here. So I want to go about five and a half. Um, how did I mess that up so bad? I have no idea. That was supposed to be three and a half. I went two and a half. Mm. We'll do it again. So she, you know, tried to ask another employee to register that was right there, and you know he couldn't help her. And so then we had to wait for management. And at our Hobby Lobby, I don't know how everybody else's, but ours, they don't scan their products. They have to, you know, key them in every time. And uh, I guess it's five and a half. And so um, she gets the manager over there. And the manager said, yes, you know, all that, all that Tim Holtz paper crafting stuff was 40% off. Of course, the stays on wasn't marked either, and it was 40% off. <laughs> and so she rings up the first item, and she gets to the next one. She's calling the manager again and asks the manager what that's listed as because it was a dye instead of a, a ink or something. And uh, the manager said, it's paper crafting. And so she went to ring up the next thing. And I said, ma'am, all of this is paper crafting stuff. I said, and all this is Tim Holtz, but this is not... I said, I don't know how you have to ring it up, you know, but um, this is, you know, a different product, which was the stays on. I said, but it's 40% off, too. So she ended up taking my word for it. I think she was frustrated and knew I was getting a little bit frustrated. I didn't mean to, you know, but things just kind of go that way. All right, I'm just going to cut a little piece off of this, I think. Um, so I finally got out of there. I'm just cutting this tab. This one, I think I'm making it inch and three quarters. I have no idea why. It might be too big, but I'm going for it. So, um, I only got out of there and we ended up coming home. Well, that was about as much as I could do for yesterday. I did not realize how absolutely weak I was. So I was very tired when I got home. Um, 
and ended up having to take a nap. And my daughter's like, are you going, you know, trick-or-treating with us? Well, no. I said, not unless you just want me to. She said, well, I'm not going to make you go. And, you know, so I ended up not going, thank goodness. Because um, I was really, really tired. And I did get a nap. And felt a little revived once I did. Okay. Well, I didn't punch that one very far. Let's do that a little bit more. Okay. Um, and so I ended up getting that nap. And then, of course, you know, you have a hard time going to sleep at night after you get a nap that late, right? So, I, but I finally did get to sleep, and I actually slept about five hours last night, which is really, really good for me, because I normally get, you know, two or three hours at a time, and that's about it. So, um, I'm feeling pretty good this morning. And I'm so glad to be getting back on track and be with y'all. I mean, I've missed y'all like crazy. Y'all just can't even imagine how much I've missed y'all. I mean, it's just... You don't even realize. Well, actually, I did realize. I knew that. Um, that I was missing y'all. I mean, you know, even with all the sweet comments and the you know messages and emails and stuff, um, it's just not the same as being here with y'all. And um, you know, because I I do feel like that y'all are with me crafting or, or watching and then you know crafting with me and that that makes a difference for me it really really does you know i've gotten so connected to y'all and y'all are so special to me and and by the way welcome to my new subscribers and thank you for coming and thank you to all my old subscribers well, y'all aren't old but you know what i mean i appreciate each and every one of you more than you know okay i am going to go back and put some little whole reinforcements on these i believe but for now i'm just you know getting that together so that's that and then, where's my last pocket? Right here. So I'm going to pull something in for that. Let's see what I have for scraps. Oh, that might be perfect. Oh, that fits perfect. So now I just need to cut it down just about, uh, let's see, maybe, let's do a half inch and see if that's enough. I kind of like that, so let's cut this off. Um, so y'all know, I think I've told y'all before that I'm a disabled veteran, and so I get my care and treatment medications through the VA. And I think y'all knew what a month or month and a half ago, whatever it was, that I had not been getting my medications and that was causing me some problems and ended up with a blood clot going to my lung because of lack of my medication, you know, my blood thinners. And I ended up having to call the White House, you know, VA hotline and, you know, getting them on it, which works out real well. Well, they changed my doctor. I think I told y'all that whole, whole deal. So finally they started refilling my medications and oh my God, y'all, you would not believe you would not believe how many medicines they sent me. I think I've got enough medicine for some of them, you know, just a month and some of them six months, some of them a year. It was like, what in the world were they thinking? But I guess they did not want me to call the VA hotline again. All right, so that's 23, I mean, that's three and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut this about two and three quarters and see where that gets me. Um, and so this happens like, sometimes two or three times a year where I don't get my medication like I should. Um, and I think it's because of, you know, like changes in employees and, you know, different pharmacists and they don't really know the routine, kind of. All right, I'm going to cut this off about right here, I think, because I'm going to make this one a tag. I'm going to go to about, let's go to about three and a half, I think. Um... And so now I have some medications, like boxes full of stuff, and some I just have enough for a month. There's like no rhyme or reason to what they're doing. All right, I think I'm gonna make, hmm, I'll make both of these tags, I think. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to what they sent or why they sent what they sent. But most of my medications I have plenty of for a long time. And the rest of them, I guess I'm still going to have to call in every month. I don't know. It's just, 
I can't ever figure out where they're going with that. But, you know, it seems like that they would just automatically refill them every month. Knowing I get the same ones, you know, all the time. And unless the doctor calls, you know, and cancels them or changes them or whatever, but they don't. So anyway, I'm just thankful that, that I have my medications now. I'm just hoping that my doctor will um, go back to my old nerve pain medication. I, I was on narcotics for years and years, and I worked really, really hard um, to get somebody to work with me to get me off of the narcotics and, and look for other alternatives, and I finally did. Um, and so it was a big thing for me to end up calling and saying, I'm willing to go back on narcotics if I have to because I can't deal with this pain. I mean, that... You know, after all the years that I begged a doctor to help me get off, you know, and to get me on some alternative treatments. And, and you know, the alternative treatments, trust me, they are not like the cure-all. But, you know, I'm not on narcotics, so that means the world to me, really, it does. Um, I wasn't having, well, I was having problems with narcotics. I was itching all the time and having hives and stuff. I wanted to round those corners. Um... But, uh, you know, I just didn't want to, to continue to go down that, that path of narcotics. I mean, it's just a serious, those are serious medications. Oh, that might be perfect right there. Look at there, that's not fit. Okay, so I want to cut that to, what did I say, three and three quarters. So I'm going to go about three. All right. Yeah, let's go about three. So, um, hopefully, hopefully, prayerfully, that she will go back to my other nerve pain medication, and I'll just keep doing what I was doing. But, you know, they changed my doctor without telling me, which is totally frustrating to me. I don't know how or why they do that without, you know, letting you know and letting you kind of have a say-so or whatever, but... It's the government, you know, they kind of do what they want to do. Although the VA has really improved a bunch since, you know, Trump took office because we were in terrible shape before. Um, let's just make a little tag for that. Um, you know, he, he did that VA Accountability Act and stuff, so now the veterans are at least being treated better for the most part, but this whole medication mess up and it happening, you know, not just once, but over and over. Seems like we have a breakdown in the pharmacy somewhere. Uh, I, mean, I don't really know because, you know, I don't work there, but I'm just going to kind of assume it's the pharmacy issue. All right, I'm just folding this over to make my little tag again. I cut that at one and a half inches long. I have no idea how wide it is. It's uh, about, about one and three eighths, I guess. Um... So hopefully I will hear back from her today, and that'll be good news. I like good news, don't y'all? But I've only got, like, maybe just a uh, half of today of my old medication to take. I'm going to have to check in that big old box of medication that I, you know, put all the extras into and I took you know the ones that I wasn't supposed to take anymore into a box so hopefully there's going to be some more in there I have enough to get me through until she'll you know she can send me some more because right now they're mailing everybody's medications out because our VA is closed down you can't get in to see a doctor unless you go to the emergency room and that's you know that's not safe because of all the COVID But I'm feeling so much better now that I'm back on that old medication. And, you know, now I'm back with y'all. I mean, isn't that exciting? I mean, I'm so excited. It's just, y'all don't know how much I need y'all. It's, it's just, you know, as y'all know, this community is the most loving, caring, precious community there is. And I mean, I've never seen anything like it. And I'm so, so thankful for each and every one of you. You know, I just feel like it's a an honor and a privilege to have y'all not just as subscribers, but as friends. I mean, I y'all I y'all are such great friends. I mean, I have the best subscribers of anybody. I'm telling you, I do. 
you know, and I would rather have, you know, 10 loyal subscribers than, you know, a thousand or 10,000 that just don't care, you know, so thank each and every one of you for being here with me and, and, you know, support me. Okay, that'll be that one. So, now, I'm going to kind of pull these back in for you to see what we did today. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the whole reinforcers on. So, if y'all don't want to see that part, you know, you can go ahead and, and skip out or whatever. Okay, this was this. And this one is this one with this sticking out. And this one is this one. So, that's kind of how they turned out. Um, but anyway, please, 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 please uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, please. Um, you know, just just encouraging, you know, something encouraging for me, if you would. Um, you know, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And everybody, please hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And please post pictures of your projects on our Facebook group. I will post the links below. And also, if you know how to do Instagram, post it on Instagram. I'm not good at Instagram. I'm not even good at Facebook yet, but, you know, I'm trying. So bear with me while I try to figure all this out. Okay, so that is that is that piece, and I'm just going to paper clip that to that so, you know, I remember that it goes together. And I, I just, I thank y'all. I love y'all so much, and I appreciate I meant to glue these, and I didn't. Those probably pop off by the time we get back to them, right? And I have to fix them. Oh, my word. Now I got it glued on there and can't move it. There we go. Okay. So that's going to be that one. That looks good, doesn't it, y'all? Very pretty. And then this is the last one. Okay, so for... The next project we're going to be working on, well, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you which pockets we'll be working on next. Ended up having to get a little thing to, to put my pieces in to keep track of, you know, what which was which, so that I would be on track. Okay, so that's those. And then I'm going to bring these back over here. Let me slip this in here so I can show y'all what the next ones we're going to use. Okay, the next one we're going to use will be these. You know, with the little, like, credit card size. Little pockets or gift card size. Of course, mine are all different sizes, you know, and I did that on purpose to show y'all that we can, you know, do them however we want to. There's no fast rules for it. Yeah, that's those. And I did those in, I think, three different sizes. So this will be the ones that we work on next. So, you know, get those out for next time and we'll work on those. Um, and blessings and hugs to everybody. I'm anxious to to get going um, back on all this again. I mean, y'all just don't even know how excited I am to, to be back in my craft room. It's, it's just amazing. Oh, I was gonna show y'all how I'm keeping my pieces. And I've even marked them like this was week two, episode three, and week six, episode three is, is what we've done here. So, um, you know, I've tried to, to keep everything marked so that, you know, when I'm doing these, I'm kind of doing them, you know, in order. And then I just got this little basket that I'm keeping my pieces in, and I keep them filed away, um, you know, in order. So I know, you know, what comes next and then where we have to go after that, you know. So... Those are so far but my pieces plus, you know, the ones we're going to work on next and the, and the other ones for the week. So these will be our other ones that we'll work on for the week. Okay. I love you all. Blessings and hugs to everybody. Um, please join me uh, later on. I'm going to, I was going to do um, a video on some journals that I got from Joanne that are for sale. Uh, and I, I just, after I went out yesterday I just wasn't able to you know come back in here and sit for that long I'm having to kind of pace myself I know y'all understand okay I love you all I will see you later bye